Napoleon decried that there should be a full investigation into Snowball's activities. With his dogs in attendance, he set out and made a careful tour of, in of inspection of farm buildings. The other animals followed at a respectful distance. At every few steps, Napoleon stopped and snuffed the ground for traces of Snowball's footprints, which he said he could detect by smell. He snuffed in every corner, in the barn and in the cow shed and in the ha hen's house and in the vegetable garden, and found traces of Snowball almost everywhere. He would put his snout to the ground, give several deep deep sniffs and exclaim in a terrible voice snowball he has been here I can smell him distinctively and at the word of snowball all the dogs let out blood curling growls and showed their side teeth Fucking, it's almost like there's nothing left to say really I mean, you fill in the characters. We all know who they are. Blame the other team, right? My name is Marcus Conti reporting. Good morning. Day after the big, big election, the big selection process of Justice Brett, Brett Kavanaugh. Kavanaugh. <laughs> However you say his name is now a uh, sitting Supreme Court Justice, 50-48 vote. Wow, we should be happy. We're making America great again, <laughs> right? I woke up, I, I wanted to feel good about it, right? Now they got a 5-4 vote, a 5-4 majority in the Supreme Court. Conservatives, right? That's what we want, right? We wanted conservatives because that's, that's, that's going to make America great again. They, they conserve stuff. <laughs> they don't, they're not liberals. They, they, they hold on to stuff. Eh, is that what it means? <laughs> Nobody fucking knows what it means. Because it doesn't mean anything. But we have it. 5-4 vote. Eh? What does that mean? Does it really mean anything? <laughs> yeah. I mean, they tried to hatch it. I'm on a, try to, try to pin a, a, you know, is it a 17 try to rape a 14 year old? Him and his buddy try to gang rape a 14 year old? That was, the, that was the strategy to get rid of him? Why not tell the truth? What he really is. That he's a corporatist judge and he's, and he's, he's not for the people. Why didn't you go that direction? The more truthful direction. Right? But now you got him, liberals. Left. Ah, he's so scared. Fucking Roe v. Wade. He's going to overturn Roe v. Wade. Woo! Second Amendment safe with, with, uh, with this guy. 5-4 vote in the Supreme Court's a big deal. I'm going to tell you why. It's a big deal. Yeah. You got Breyer. The, the, this, he may, Trump may get... It's possible that he gets two more. Not just one, but two more Supreme Court judges. You got Breyer's 80. Right? He could croak. He could quit. And you got Ginsburg holding on by a breath. Right? Holding on by a by a by the skin of a lizard <laughs> at 85. Right? And she might quit because she remember she said, "Oh, if Trump is elected, I'm going to move to uh, I'm going to move to Scandinavia. I'm going to move to France." <laughs> She's still there. What's the real problem? with having a, a, a 5-4 or a 6-3 conservative Supreme Court judge. Does it really matter? Yes, it does, because this, the, the, in this country, Congress makes the laws. Uh, Congress writes the laws. House of Represent Representatives. Senate confirms them. All right. President is kind of impotent in that respect. He can veto, but... It's very, it's very important. So Congress writes the laws and then judicial, the Supreme Court upholds them, analyzes them, validates them for constitutionality. Right? Constitution of the United States of America. That's what keeps the thing going, right? So 
three big problems I'm going to point out to you. I'm going to get a little help from my friend. So the three big, three big problems. I'll show you how the how the uh, three things that we want. Right. Everybody agrees that the that the campaign, the way that politicians are funded, is deeply corrupted. That billionaires buy these guys. Right. We all agree. We, I think we all agree to that. Whatever side you call yourself a conservative or whatever the hell I don't even know what the titles mean anymore but most people agree that there's something wrong in terms of when someone gives a million dollars to a politician and that politician says oh no money that has some, no doesn't have any effect on me no it's just uh, you know because we need the money to run the campaign you know it's it's just uh, it's just business it doesn't have any effect on that guy that gave me a million dollars he's I, I view his opinion just like I view the guy with no money down the block. Right? That's what you want us to believe that, right? All right so, camp campaign finance laws. Where does the Supreme Court have anything to do with it? Because Citizens United, right? That was a 5-4 conservative decision that basically, that some judges now, they don't even know the definition of bribery anymore. They can't it happened here in New York. I was reading an article that judges were having a hard time deciding what is bribery. They don't even know the meaning anymore because of this decision, the Supreme Court Citizens United decision. Who believes that in the United States of America, a handful of billionaires, some Democrats, mostly Republicans, can spend hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars to elect candidates who represent their interests. Who thinks that's right? Not many people do. But people do not understand that we are in that position today because of a five to four Supreme Court decision regarding Citizens United. A decision which is now undermining American democracy. And there are those who think that Citizens United did not go far enough that billionaires should be able to give money directly to senators and congressmen, make them directly their employees. I have zero doubt that Judge Kavanaugh will continue that majority approach to allowing billionaires to control our political system. Bribery is legal, right? You want campaign finance? You want to get money out of politics? Why are you cheering on a guy like uh, Brett Kavanaugh, who's clearly going to side with it? He, he's, of course, right? You think he's going to go against Citizens United, Brett Kavanaugh? No. So, you've got your pick, and you're happy about your pick, because you got a conservative, right? So, I mean, so that's one, right? Try to cross the street again. <laughs> I'm going to die on live video getting hit by a car. <laughs> it's not funny, really. So that's one. So what about... So so campaign finance reform? Pfft, not going to happen with this guy. Not going to happen with this 5-4... 5-4... 5-4... 5-4... 5-4... Oh, Ginsburg. I think she's going to die, to be honest with you. It's hard to tell. Enjoying the enjoying hood. <laughs> so, what's the other one? Okay, voter, voter, vote, right? Vote. We trust a vote, right, in this country? <laughs> we trust that our vote counts, right? Wrong. So, how does the Supreme Court have anything to do with it? Kavanaugh is going to save the day there, right? Why is it? Why is the Supreme Court? What are you talking about, Conti? Supreme Court voter registration doesn't mean anything, right? All right so the, the 1965, if you roll it back, Lyndon B. Johnson, the Voter Rights Act of 1965, where all people are entitled to vote and be counted. I don't know the details of it, but it was the Voter Rights Act of 1965, Lyndon B. Johnson, and what happened? In a 5-4 Supreme Court ruling, they gutted the law. They gutted the 
Voter Registration Act of 1965. Right? States can handle it. Give it to the states. Right? And there went the suppression, and there went the voter rigging, and there went... Because, see, whatever the, everything that they do is not... It's, it's illegal, but it's not that illegal. 1965. An enormously important act was signed by Lyndon Johnson called the Voting Rights Act. And it said that all of our people, regardless of the color of their skin, should have the right to vote. Not a very radical idea. And yet a few years ago, the majority of the court gutted that decision, said it wasn't necessary anymore. States would do the right thing. Time has come and gone. Days, hours after that decision was made, five to four decision, you had attorneys general all over this country, governors, working overtime to figure out how they could suppress the vote, how they could make it easier on themselves to deny people of color, poor people, young people, the right to vote. That was a Supreme Court decision. So if you're upset and you're wondering about how in America we have states trying to make it harder for people to vote, when our voter turnout numbers are pretty low compared to the rest of the world, that was a Supreme Court decision. I have zero doubt again that when it comes to protecting our democracy and the rights of people to vote, that Judge Kavanaugh will be on the wrong side of that issue. So that's two down, right? You want money out of politics? Forget about it. You want f free and fair elections? Forget about it. Wait until all these guys die. Maybe, maybe in another two, two, two three lifetimes we'll, we'll see some of that. And what else? Oh, you want free health care. You want, you want a single-payer health care system in America that works for everybody. You want health care to work for everybody? What does the Supreme Court have to do with that? I thought it was Congress that makes the laws. Yeah, it's true. How are you going to get a new law with, with this Congress? Impossible, right? So what they do is they go in the back door. Supreme Court decides in a 5-4 decision that Medicaid, and I quote, is optional. <laughs> so if you're 65, states can decide if Medicaid is, is uh, are, you, are you allowed to get Medicaid? Uh, they're deciding th these are these were rights that were given to all people and now they're, they're they're taking back those rights today in america we are the only major country on earth not to guarantee health care to all people the affordable care act was an important step forward by a five to four decision supreme court ruled that expanding medicaid in a state was optional and we had many, many, I think 17 states that said, no, we're not going to expand Medicaid. Millions of low-income people, children, were denied the health care that this Congress voted to give them. I have zero doubt that Mr. Kavanaugh will continue that effort to make it impossible for us to guarantee health care to all of our people. See, that's what, the, that's what the Supreme Court, that's the danger of the Supreme Court, right? There's three. I mean, health care in, in, in this country, universal single payer, all people covered. It's not going to happen with a conservative judicial. 535, House and, the, the House writes the laws. That's the power. That's the power. The throttle of power is there. I mean, I mean, I'm just, I'm the, I'm the catcher in the rye, right? I'm just trying to tell you what's going on. That's all I'm doing. I'm, just, I'm doing my job, right? I can only, I can only tell you what's happening. And then the people have to rise up and fix it, and have to unite. We're not, we're not enemies of, of each other. They're pitting us against each other. Throwing up a shit show rape of a 14 year old don't pay attention to the real issues the money 
Don't pay attention to that. Pay attention to pay attention to, to what I'm telling you. That's where we're at today. So enjoy your win. Enjoy the victory. Brett Kavanaugh should be proud of himself. He he in his view, in his eyes, in his mind, he's a he's a he's a great American. He's a winner. He's in his fifties, he'll spend thirty years on the bench. Right? While the people starve, while the people go further and further into the abyss. <laughs>